everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This is Sarah Grayson, where grace begins with you. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I have a video for you today with my summer to fall fragrances. And I thought this would be something good because these are some fragrances that you can wear in the summer or the warmer months and transition them into fall and um, wear them just as frequently in that, you know, fall time, autumn time of the year. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, please stay tuned. Um, before we get started, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Definitely don't forget to share and absolutely don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload uh, more great content. Well, the first fragrance I have for you, um, Graceful Beauties, is um, a fragrance that can definitely, to me, go from summer to fall. Brand um, Dua. And it, and it is Vanille Overload. It's an inspiration fragrance. Um, it's inspired by Guerlain Spiritual Reads Double Vanille. So, you see how much I have um, loved this fragrance. <laughs> and this is one of the first bottles, so I think their other packaging is a little di different. So, let me give you the notes of this fragrance because it is inspired by Guerlain's fragrance. It's bergamot, pink pepper, frankincense, yang ylang, de comoros, uh, rose de bagrarie, um jasmine vanilla benzoin rum and cedar and this one is a good great dupe for the girl lines fragrance it's vanilla it's an overload of vanilla but it's still not a heavy fragrance fragrance it's still because of the bergamot that citrus gives it um of some brightness kind of quality so it's not a um, very thick type of fragrance if you get what I'm saying it's just it, it's a good if you don't want to spend the money for spiritual ease this one is a great dupe I have a backup bottle of this um, somewhere put up <laughs> but this one is a great fragrance because of that bergamot give you a great uh, fragrance and brightness to transition with the vanilla and uh, you know the jasmine and the rum to transition into fall. And this one is Vanilla Overload by Dua. The next one I have for you beauties is, excuse me, the next one I have for you beauties is one that um, I'm very excited to talk about. And I've had this one in my collection for a little while, so let me get right forward. It. it is Vanille Fatale. The notes are rum, myrrh, alabanum, saffron, coriander, orange, and lime in the top. Middle, barley, coffee, plum, fragipani, narcissus, artisia, rose, and the base is Madagascar, vanilla suede, tobacco, mahogany, patchouli, oak, moss, and violet. It's vanilla, it's warm, it's spicy, it's sweet, it's amber, it's woody, powdery, it's a little bit of leather, balsamic, aromatic, and tobacco type of fragrance. This is vanilla, vanilla, and a little bit of tobacco. But it's supposed to be the little sister of tobacco vanilla. So this one is, to me, is lighter, brighter, that lime citrus again even though it's a little boozy it's not heavy but that orange that lime that citrus you get a little bit of the plum where you get that little bit of sweetness from those fruits you get the rose it's just a lighter version but a great version of um little sister version of tobacco vanilla doesn't get you don't get a lot of tobacco even though it has it in this fragrance it's not forward tobacco like tobacco vanilla would be but this one is a great fragrance to wear in the summer you know maybe the, during the cooler nights and you want to have on something that's just a little bit more 
um, cool, night friendly, you know, that'll stand up with that type of weather into fall transition. Great fragrance for that. And this one is time for Vanille Fatal. Performance is outstanding. Next fragrance that I have for you beauties is um, another great one that I usually don't bring out until about this time of the year. Um, and I'll tell you why. Let me introduce it. And Myrrh and Tonka. It's funny because I just sprayed it on my hands. <laughs> is this top notes are lavender, the middle notes are myrrh, the base notes is Tonka bean, vanilla, and almond. Amber vanilla sweet. It's aromatic. It's a little warm, a little spicy, lavender, balsamic, and almond like almond nuttiness but what you get in this fragrance is martin tonka so if you're looking for something martin tonka you could definitely wear this in the summertime and get away with it because to me it leans a little powdery and then you definitely can transition this one into fall and um have something very beautiful this one is joe malone's martin tonka and this one is, you know, one that to me, it says it's intense. One of the longer lasting Joe jo Malone fragrances. So this one's Joe Malone, Myrrh, and Tonka. The next one I have for you, beauties, that could transition from summer to fall. Mm. Cream, warm cashmere by philosophy the notes vanilla cashmere wood sandalwood musk and coconut vanilla woody powdery musky it's balsamic it's coconut it's sweet a little amber this is the reason why i picked this one is i love wearing something like this to bed in the summer in the winter in the fall in the spring <laughs> i love wearing these because these are very cozy fragrances this fresh cream gives you something like buttery gives you something like um, fresh and kind of creamy and it just gives you a little bit of musky and it's not a heavy fragrance so it's like all of philosophy fragrances some of are like they're like um, they, they can be like dainty fragrances fragrances that not are, are not going to be huge projectors or they're not going to be um, you know long lasting fragrances but they really do the job this one is a great one to go from summer to transition to fall love it i wear this fragrance all year round and it's never too overwhelming for me this one is fresh cream by warm excuse me fresh cream warm cashmere by philosophy Last year, I want to say, or maybe the beginning of this year, but anyway, I'm glad by one of my favorite house niche houses, and this one is by BDK, and it's Creme de Cure. Um, the top notes are pineapple, grapefruit, mandarin, orange, bergamot. The middle notes are white suede, sandalwood, pink pepper, and pepper. The base notes are cashmere, vanilla, white musk, gray musk, and birch musky, powdery little bit of leather that suede type of leather woody a little citrus and bright sweet a little fresh and a little spicy vanilla fruity and it's to me just a, just in the background a little bit of smokiness this one is perfect for the summer and transition into fall because it's not a heavy it's a bright actually it's a bright airy type of suede leather citrusy type of a little musky type of fragrance i love the pineapple on this i love the grapefruit you get all of those citruses that which makes this fragrance have that airiness and that brightness even though it carries leather and it has cashmere and it's definitely musky so it's like a bright musky um kind of new not even too much leather but you can smell that type of metallicness of the leather this one is just good and it will go great from summer projects very well longevity 
great siage. It will go great from summer to fall. This is Creme de Cur by BDK Perfumes. Two more great ones, guys. Two more great ones. This one is definitely a no doubt. Billy Eilish by Billy Eilish. Top notes sugar, red berries, mandarin, orange, middle, vanilla, cacao, spice notes, rose. Base notes are tonka bean, amber, musk, and woodsy notes. Vanilla, sweet, warm, spicy, cacao, powdery, and amber. This one's just a vanilla. Um, just a vanilla kind of sweet, uh, uh, kind of a uh, little bit spicy, powdery fragrance. Never is overwhelming for to me. I wear it in the summer. I wear it in the fall. I wear it in the spring. <laughs> I wear it in the winter. It's a great vanilla scent. And it, and it, to me, it gives you a little bit of that mossy, outdoorsy feeling beautiful i even have the um i want to say the inspired version of this i think it starts with an e i can't think of the name right or an, an n a nebras or something like that i even end up buying that fragrance i i love this so much i love this vanilla in this fragrance yes this is just one that i yeah, I'm very, very fond of. And this is Eilish by Billie Eilish. Last but not least, definitely one that you can go from summer to transition into fall. Let me just get one spray. Whispers in the Library by Mason Margiela. Mm. Vanilla, woodsy notes, cedar, pepper. This one's Woody's vanilla, fresh, spicy, and it's a little powdery. Mm, this smells like, like a good section of books. I don't know if I mean books, but like the atmosphere or the aura of being in a library. It just has that nice vanilla. It ha it's kind of soft and... To me, it wears close to the skin, but it just has that vanilla and a little bit of woodiness. It's still a little fresh, a little spicy, so you can go from summer to fall with no problem. And it just reminds you of the atmosphere of being in the library. What a bit of desirable vanilla. So this one is supposedly being discontinued. I'm not quite sure. But it's a really good fragrance. Very, 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 very excellent fragrance that you won't have to worry about being too heavy or um, too fall forward if you want to wear it also in the summer. This one is Whispers in the Library by Mason Margiela, Martin Margiela. And that's all I have for you beauties. I hope you enjoyed me. This summer to fall transition... Uh, fragrances i hope you enjoy before you leave please don't forget to like comment and subscribe definitely don't forget to share and absolutely don't forget to hit the notification so you'll be notified when i upload more great content i'll see you again soon everyone take care bye bye <laughs>